Can you take us through the decision with Mercer? Um, did, did he, did he want to leave for, for virus reasons or anything, or was that just, that no. was the cut? No, it's just the roster. We had to get down to 28 and you know, lose two players and we made two decisions here. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate we had to do that. We all love the guy and he did well while he was here. He's helped us and uh, tough decision, but you know, young guys, old guys, and you know, not a lot, not enough playing time, basically what it turns into. Um, so it, there's a 40 man implication for this move too, since, since he elected to leave. That's or that, code. Yeah, mine either. I don't, I don't even deal with that part. That's uh, upstairs. They're good at that. Okay. Um, also, since we're not out on the field, you know, we can't count bodies. Um, how's the injury report looking? Is, is there anybody that's, that's dinged up or is, is there anything new with the roster at this point besides the cut? Well, I think everything's good right now. We're going out and, and uh, do our thing today and then get on a plane and head to Pittsburgh and, uh, you know, get in there this evening, uh, going over all the new protocols they're putting out. And it's all good stuff. So we're just, you know, make sure we're safe. While we travel, we're going to talk about that today. Uh, the last thing for me, the rotation, it looks like you're going to keep the same three, Boyd, Nova, Turnbull in that order this weekend? Absolutely. Any, any decisions after that? Yeah, I'll let you know when we get back. <laughs> or maybe okay. the last day there. Okay. <laughs> Thank Boulder's you. going to be in there, and um, we're still working on the last one, where we're going. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Our next question comes from Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah, Gardy, uh, what were you guys able to do today? And <clears throat> given kind of the spontaneous nature of this four-day break, how well do you <clears> – <throat> how much, how productive do you feel you guys were able to be given such short notice on having basically like an all-star break type of thing off? Yeah, we just did the best we could. We got our, our – you know, the big thing was getting our pitchers thrown to some hitters. And our hitters actually throwing, you know, or being able to take some swings and see the balls, um, and, and that worked out pretty good. Um, uh, it, you know, you just have to ad lib as best you can when something like this happens. We didn't want to kill them. These guys were ready to play. They've been playing, so we just wanted. They wanted to see live pitching. Pitchers wanted to get on the mound and face some hitters. That was the biggest thing we needed to get done to keep our pitchers online and and ready to go. Uh, you know, through this thing uh, once we get to Pittsburgh. So. We got enough done, and there was a good atmosphere. The guys, they get it. They understand it. Uh, there wasn't, you know, too much complaining about it. It was just let's get it done and go for it. And uh, how much did the need for extra pitching factor into the decision with Mercer? Was was this fairly like you know, either Mercer or a pitcher, and just given the way you guys have needed bodies in the bullpen? It's just the roster move. We, you know, we have to get down. You have to make decisions on which way you want to go. And, you know, you start talking about the plan time. We've got multiple utility guys and you just start looking at plan time. And it basically it just doesn't look like, you know, we're going to try to, you know, get Lugo in a few more ball games, see what happens with him. And, uh, you know, uh, it just, that's just where it, it stood. It was tough, very tough. I think you guys know how much I respect Jordy and, and this organization respected him for what he did here while he was here. But, you know, we're going youth, and we're going to continue to do that, and that's all part of it. And um, does Lugo or Castro become the backup at first base now? Lugo becomes our backup just about everywhere, even at catcher. He's our third catcher now. He just inherited that because that was Jordy's job. So he doesn't know it yet. I haven't told him so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jason. The next question comes from Chris McCoskey of the Detroit News. Just following up there, um, so uh, if you had something go wrong up the middle with, with either Nico or, or Scope, uh, Harold Castro is your main guy up the middle backing up, right? Absolutely. And then Willie, Willie Castro would probably be kind of on the, on the cusp there too. Willie Castro is ready to play. Uh, he's doing everything down there in Toledo. And, you know, you get somebody hurt during a game, obviously if it's going to be a week or 10 days, you know, we have a situation like that, then Willie is next in line to be one of our middle, our middle guard shortstop for sure. Okay. And I, you get to expand the taxi squad for this trip? You get five? Is that? We haven't. We, we got one right now, a catcher. I think we, we can do a lot of different things with this right now, but I, I still think it's three. I haven't heard five. That's the first time I've heard five. Maybe it is. 
Uh, I still think it's three, but if it's five, that's great. But right now we're going to go with one. Uh, we think we'll be fine for these three days and then we're coming right back home. And that's Haas, right? Yeah, Haas is going to join us. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Chris. Our next question comes from Evan Woodbury from MLive. Hey, Ron. You mentioned the, the more stringent protocols that are being unveiled. Uh, what, is the, what is the biggest difference or, or the biggest change that, that you'll have to get used to? Especially well, I've read through them. Everybody who was sent to them, and we've all read through them. And, you know, it's about road trips a lot, about road trips and travel. The flights, what they want us to do. Uh, we have a different situation than a lot of teams. We have our own plane, and we only have X amount of seats on that plane, so we have to do the best we can with the number of people we have in that plane as far as you know, distancing each other. And, uh, but we've done a really nice job up to this point, and that will continue. But there's a lot of stuff they've thrown out there that they want us to do, and it's all about taking care of ourselves, especially on the road staying in the hotel as best you possibly can in your room, room service, all those things, rather than going out. Uh, and it's not like you're in jail. You can walk out, let them know where you're going and then come back. So there's a lot of stuff that, you know, has been put out there to try to make this thing go smooth. And I read something about, I, I don't know, like a supervisor overseer that's going to monitor, a monitor, that's the word, a monitor. Is that a, an MLB employee or is that a Tiger? Oh, we fired out Al Avila. Al's going to stand up there and check everybody. <laughs> I don't really have an answer on that. I know MLB is taking care of it and they're getting it all done. And, uh, you know, what, uh, whatever they say, I mean, that's basically what's happening here. There's going to be a person out there to help keep everybody safe. And, and that's important. I think that'd be a good job for Chad. No, Chad, Chad <laughs> has, he's only got a certain amount of friends and the rest <laughs> of us are out. We found that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Evan. Our next question comes from Cody Stavenhagen from the athletic. Hey, Ron, have you gotten used to just having a, a mask on in the dugout? Is it hard to consciously keep that on 100% of the time? It's hard. I mean, you know, it's really hard. And uh, I have glasses on. And when I'm wearing the mask, if I get a little upset about anything, you breathe a little harder and then I can't see anything. And that's really the frustrating part for me is trying to find a mask that works where my glasses don't fog up all day long. So a lot of times I keep it right at the end of my nose just to help me get through it because it's hard to read your paperwork when your glasses are all fogged over. So those are the issues that I'm having. Safety wise, I'm in, I'm in with it. For sure. And then just a little more on Lugo. I think we all know he's kind of been fighting for time, fighting to stay on the roster for a little bit here. What is it that you guys like about his ability and, and hope to see more of? The kid's got a great attitude. He's handled this very well. We haven't played him a lot but he's ready all the time. He pays attention in the dugout. He knows late in the game when Cabby's coming up, he's got a good chance to bench run for him. Those are all the things. And plus, he's improved so much. Defensively, if we can find enough at bats, we'll see if he can get that swing going. But defensively, he's improved so much. And I said that over, over last winter. Said it in spring training. He's really confident. Uh, he brings some things to the table. He started as a second baseman. He can play there. And he even goes over and takes throws at first base. So... The kid can do some things. He's a talented kid, and we'll try to do the best. I have to do a better job of getting him more at-bats, so if we do need him in a big situation, he's ready for it. That's my job.